Hey, what's up guys? Hole four of the close house cold course here. First look at this one. So haven't seen this one before. First thing that I like to do, see if we can put in the wind in, at least figure out how many rings we're gonna need to go. That should help us with an initial setup point. So let's say I do try to set up like this. You'll see I haven't even touched the spin yet. I think I can almost get away with no spin here. We're just trying to kind of run this in and let this kind of stretch out on its own. You can see with where I'm aiming very close to the rough, I'd like to land here if possible. Otherwise, you know, I'd try to back up away from this and maybe top spin it a little bit. But we should be good here. And you can see that I'm straightening up my wind arrow here, maybe somewhere around here. We are going to go the max. We're going to be pulling very close to the max line. Maybe even a slight overpull. Reason being for the overpull is because we're not backspinning this and the secondary wind effect should increase our ring adjustment slightly. So let's go somewhere around here. Of course, I haven't seen this hole yet, so I'm not really 100% sure as to how this green breaks out. But if I had to guess, I would say left because it should break off the green. I was a little early on my timing, but I don't think it registered. As you can see, it's coming in very well. And you can see it just kind of rolls up there slowly. Not too bad overall. We could have just slightly overpulled a little bit and maybe just a touch of topspin. But other than that, you can see, you know, in the headwind, you, uh, it really just checks up nicely to this front pin location. So keep those tips in mind. Keep in mind if you have a different wind, you know, it might run out just a little bit more in the tailwind setting, and that would have been perfect. So good luck there. I'll see you guys on the next one.